Hello everybody, welcome to another video. I'm coming at you um, after uh, we did like a Christmas light thing last night called Enchanted. It was presented by the Hallmark Channel and I wore like a cozy outfit. I look like a big old snowman or like a sheep, but I was very nice and warm. Um, if you remember, this is the Juicy Couture um, pajama set that I bought at Burlington Coat Factory. I really loved them. Um, I feel like my makeup is still crusted on and my hair is all flattened and everything. Um, but I wanted to do a video um, wearing something different and also um, just do a video of this weekend, like the things that I bought over the weekend and also things that I received over this weekend. So today is Sunday, December 18th. Um, so I just wanted to do that before I ended up forgetting and ended up going uh, about um, on the rest of my day. Uh, so I don't even know where to begin. I guess let's just go ahead and start off with like the packages. That's probably um, just to get out of the way. Okay. Okay, so this I bought from the When We Were Young Music Festival. Um, so I didn't go, uh, unfortunately, which sucks because it was my birthday weekend and I ended up doing like this embarrassing sleep study instead. But I wanted to feel like I was a part of the show and I really loved this um, this shirt. I love like the aesthetic of it and I love like the design. Um, mostly I love like the doll and it says like when we were young, 2022 and like, yes, I technically I didn't want to, or I didn't go, I wanted to go, but I didn't go, but at least I saw my come this year and I want to go to next year's. It's going to be Blink-182 and Green Day. And I'm such a huge fan of both of the bands, but I'm going to see Blink-182 in June here and, um, where I live. And I've seen Green Day, like, I want to say, like, at least three times. But, I mean, that's, like, a band that I don't mind seeing more than once. They've been one of my favorite bands since I was little. So, um, I would love to go, especially since it's around the same time as my birthday. But we'll see. You know, also, funds are a little tight right now. I feel like between hosting this cafe and uh, the holidays, I got to really see what's in my budget. Anyway, plus I'm going to Vegas in April. But anyway, let's see what else I got. Okay, so these are pins that I bought from Hot Topic. Uh, so um, there are two pin sets. There's a Loungefly Disney Mickey Mouse pin set and then a Loungefly Hello Kitty and Friends one. Um, so one was 323 and the Hello Kitty one was 962. I basically bought these, um, to get free shipping, but they're both so adorable. So it's not like I regret it or anything. Okay. So this one, um, it's a Hello Kitty. Actually, no, this one's like the Disney ornament one. Okay. Now I remember. So it's not a pin set. It's, um, an ornament and it's like one of those blind boxes and blind boxes are my thing and it was originally $9.90 and so these are the possibilities I can get so it looks like Mickey, Minnie, Donald, Goofy, Pluto, and Daisy. Honestly I would be happy with either one but I would really like Minnie Mouse and Daisy. Let's see what it is. Do -do -do -do. Oh, it's Mickey. Oh, it's a pin. So it is a pin, but they're shaped like ornaments. Oh, how cute. I really do need to start like getting a lanyard and putting things on it, especially for when I go to Disneyland. That is so cute. And then this is the Hello Kitty one. And I love the box. I love the box. I don't care what anybody says. I'm keeping the box. It's so cute. And these are the um it's also a blind box pin these are the possibilities i can get so it's um 
Hello Kitty, Kurofi, Choco Cat, My Melody, Pompurin, and um, uh, Batsmaru. It says like the twin stars, but I don't see them as part of the six options. Let's see which one I got. Oh my god, of course I got the OG, my favorite Hello Kitty herself. So I'm really happy with that. Okay, and then on that tangent, um, I also received another package from Hot Topic. And I believe it's another Christmas sweater that I ordered. Yes, I went a little crazy with the Christmas sweater this year. Oh, but they were so cute. And I blame freaking, um, I blame freaking Instagram for doing like those for you, like specifically catered algorithms for yourself. Because I saw this one, it says the cutest ugly sweater. It is so freaking cute. I love it. I love it. And so it's like, how am I going to say no? And then I found like that other pink Hello Kitty sweater. So it's like, how can I resist? This is why it's dangerous. And I keep saying like, oh, it's because of other people's gifts when really it's like my shit, like stuff for me. Um, and then, so I really love it. I'm going to have to wear it. Um, I didn't wear a Christmas sweater, obviously, yesterday because I wore this, but I have today, Saturday, Sunday, and then like at work to wear Christmas stuff. So I think I'll get through them. And I think I have one more Christmas sweater on the way. Hopefully that'll be the last one I bought. Okay. And this is K-pop stuff that I had ordered. Um, there's stickers that I ordered and it's from Lil Nini Stickers in Thailand. Thailand, like they say on um on the hangover too. <gasps> and they are so cute. <gasps> Look at these. Oh my gosh, sticker sheets. Oh my god. And these are sticker sheets for Christmas. So front and back oh my gosh so cute it has 2023 and again oh my gosh so these I'll probably like give away to like friends keep some for myself give away to friends for Christmas oh my god how cute are those oh my gosh so I got like a good and then I could also use some for prizes um, for the Kai Fei oh my gosh that is so cute I love it. I love it. Oh gosh. Of course, I'm going to take a picture of it and post it on Twitter to thank them. It's so cute. Oh my gosh. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Can't get enough. I love like I'm such a whore for like fan made art and stickers and stuff. So like as you guys already know, you guys have already gotten familiar with me um, on my unboxings and my hauls. So some of those I'm going to give away as Christmas gifts and some of them I'm going to give away as raffle prizes for the Kai Fei. But speaking of the Kai Fei, um, so speaking of the Kai Fei, I've also been trying to find things um, that are bear themed and, and peach themed as raffle prizes for our guests and the fans and also the organizer or the, um, the, how do I say, not organizers, but like the store owner and her employees. And so I found this Joa Sugar Doctor Lip Scrub in peach scent. So I thought like, oh my gosh, these are so cute. And Joa um, is a Korean saying for I like you, of course. And it's also cruelty free. I really like it and I bought two of them I cleared out CVS of whatever they had which was only two um and I've also gotten stuff from the creme shop and I tried to look for more stuff and they didn't really have any except like the eyeshadow palettes that I already have um and I think I'm gonna keep those to my for myself honestly I'm sorry I'm sorry you guys but they're like $15 a palette I'm sorry and I'm like within a budget you know it being the holidays and everything and then I also found some stuff 
for um so these were 9.99 and i also found stuff as like gifts uh for like my coworkers and friends so i thought that these were cute they're like little reindeer um mittens and these were uh 12.99 i thought they were so cute and then um let's see i found um pretzels from our local bakery uh, our local cookie factory i should say this was 8.99 um so this is white chocolate covered pretzels and these are chocolate covered pretzels so regular 8.99 and these are all from the um so the only things that I bought from CVS, I apologize. Yeah, so yeah, those are the only three things that I bought from CVS this time around. But I do have a $6 off $30 coupon, so I'm going to have to probably go again. And then so these other things that I'm showing you are from um, our local cookie factory. So I bought these and I forgot how much they were. But I bought these. Um, oh, I think I should give me the receipt. Uh, so these are $7 each. They're dish towels and they say Mary on them. I kind of want to find unique things for my coworkers this year, stuff that they can't find anywhere else. Um, and you know, since our local cookie factory is, you know, one of a kind, I doubt they'll be able to find, maybe they'll find similar things, but not the exact same things. Um, and then, so I got three different designs for those. And I also got a handmade soap for a coworker and um, I know she likes these things and I keep trying to like buy Christmas ones, but I like, this one's Tropical Escape and I feel like these smell nicer than the other ones. And I also bought um, pencils for my friend and it says um, pencils for procrastinators and it has sayings on them. These were $9.25 and it says, I always work better when it's next week. Mine was doodling pencil. I have to finish this Netflix series first. I'll sharpen this later. Procrastinating is also an achievement. I'll find a use for this pencil tomorrow. Last second crunch time pencil and I'll study after I clean. And on the back it says, two weeks. Go ahead, ask me anything. Invariably, the answer will be two weeks. Wondering when I'll get my grades up? Two weeks. Get my grades up and start working out? Two weeks. Get my grades up, start working out. Call my dad, visit my Nana in Florida, get married, buy a house, file for divorce, start my own business and run for office? Two weeks. Pal, two weeks. So this one is by Whiskey River Soap Company. And I thought it was so cute. They also had other ones like... Um, uh, like the office ones and let's see I think like maybe holiday ones or something like that middle child ones but I thought these ones were the cutest so and we can relate because we send like each other um, office memes all the time like office as in like working not like the show per se but you know work memes back and forth um, and then last night at the um, Hall Hallmark Enchant event I got stuff from Way Love Essentials uh, so these are um, candles and again I wanted to get stuff for like my friends and my co-workers that are pretty unique this is a maple creme and so it smells like virgin coconut soy wax hand poured in um, my town so it looks like or my city looks like this and I smelled every single candle that she had right there they were one for 16 two for 30 so a little pricey but you know it's a local business and so of course I want to support and um this one is Labru um virgin uh coconut soy blend and it's also by way love essentials have to follow them and this one smells so good it smells like coffee so I'll probably give this to my coworker too, because she loves coffee. This one I'll probably give to my friend. And speaking of my friend and my co-host for the Thai Fae, she also gave me um, some gifts for Christmas. And 
Um, so cute holiday card and I collect all my cards. Oh, and she gave me stickers. Oh, this is going either on my journal or on my, um, on my suitcase. It says, Merry Christmas, friend. Thanks for being in my life and being my number one K-pop homie. Appreciate you, everything you do. XOXO, Linda. And her drawing is so cute. So adorable. It's supposed to be Jongin. And it does look like Jongin, so it's adorable. Keeping that. And let's see what else she got me. Hello Panda chocolate um, creme center with crunchy shells uh, snacks, which I love. She also got me Rilakkuma um, mask that I need anytime like I get the sniffles or I get the cough because it is that season. And I do need some because, you know, going to like the um, the doctor and stuff, you know, other places might not require um, masks, but doctor's offices definitely do. So um, she also gave me stickers and oh, stickers. And oh, I love how she wrapped everything up. Oh God, it's so cute how she wrapped everything up. But let me see. And Oh my god, how cute! A Jongin pin. And this is by Magic Handed on Instagram. So it's so cute. I love it. Okay, and then she also got me a Hello Kitty Cafe mug. So cute. I have to put it up. I don't know if I have room on my Hello Kitty shelf, but I'll try to find a place for it somewhere. It's so cute looks like this and look at it has hello kitties um profile on there to find a place a spot to put it and of course i'm not going to use it it's too pretty to use so i'll have to find a place to put it but that is everything for today so i think it's like a pretty quick video it's only under 20 minutes you guys can follow me on Instagram and TikTok at MK Madrigal. I'm not sure. I'm definitely going to post on Instagram um, for like my um, for my video. And I don't know if I'm going to post on TikTok. Um, but I'm definitely going to post on Twitter to thank the fan artist for sending me those stickers. Um, and you can always follow me on Twitter at Yixing Slip Ons. Again, I'm trying to like clean it out. So um, I apologize for any annoying tweets. Still stuck in January of 2021 because um, I can't bear myself to, uh, to, you know, move past it, you know, but I will eventually. Eventually I'll move past it and, um, uh, and everything will be cleaned out and sifted out and I'll feel better about my account when that happens. But thank you guys so much for watching. Happy holidays. And as always, I love you guys so much. Hopefully this has been um, pretty helpful and now I'm rambling and I'll talk to you guys next time. I love you guys. Bye.